Well, let me go back a little bit. I've, I've coached, I've taught swim lessons since I was 15, so I'm 44 now. Uh, always been a big component of, of technique. In 1992, I coached high school and uh, I, I followed the traditional method of coaching and I grounded and pounded my guys way into exhaustion, into injury. I was very young, um, didn't know any better but because that's what everybody else is doing. And I actually took seven year break from, from swimming because doing something without any substantial proof or the reasons why, and I'm not talking about the, the mechanics why, I just did not Part of it's an experience and, and being young, not having a mentor. But I went way too far. And, and uh, we, we had a very talented team and I, I ruined those boys in that year. So I went into my man cave and really dissected everything. Um, when I finally got back into coaching, this was before I heard anything about USRPT, but I decided there's gotta be something more. So how do I hit the fundamentals, but then build in the speed? and I played around and had success great with the technique. Um, I got into a mentorship down in, in uh, San Antonio, Texas with George Block and, and uh, Animal Aquatics. Um, then we moved three years ago, now three and a half years ago, back up to Fork Union, Virginia, and, and where I'm at my current position. In our first year, um, I didn't do things my traditional way, we had to do it with discipline. There was a lot of things we had to change about the culture and my way of doing things, but still grounded in technique. Um, second year, um, really dove into Bill Sweetenham's work um, and training and the methodologies. And, and we ended up, and I started putting in sprints and race pace. And again, this is before I really heard of Brett Russell's work, but I started doing race pace. And it's a very crude, <laughs> form. Uh, if you go back to the Flintstones form, of, uh, of th that was me. But we had great success. And we kept getting faster every meet. Every single meet. Every single race. I'm thinking, the wheels have got to fall off. I remember going to the state meet thinking, we're going to fail. I mean, guys, coaches were accusing me of shaving tapering for meets. And we hadn't done any of that. I had coaches, officials coming up saying, what did you spray on your suits? Because did you spray them with silicone? I didn't spray... I was appalled because we had our 200 free relay um, was seated second by one one hundredth of a second. We ended up winning by 5, 12 and a half yards. And so that's when I got accused of cheating. The same four guys were in my 400 free relay and they were seated at 318. And I said, look, you, you hold your starts. They're going to look for us. You do everything the way I tell you to do. I'm the front man. I'll, hit, I'll take all the hits. You just do what you've been trained to do. They ended up going to 312. And we went to state meet and they went 308. <laughs> and I didn't change, I didn't do the, you know, the big time taper and everything like that. Well then I got involved with the Ask a Fellows project. And the Ask a Fellows was off deck leadership of coaches. And the coach that I have been interested in for a very long time is Forbes Carlisle. And Forbes Carlisle being a researcher, um, and he's 94, he's still very active in the research of swimming, um, promoting his clubs. I, mean, I shouldn't say he's in the research, but he's pushing and he said, you need to, you need to read Brent Rushall's work. And Brent Rushall worked with Forbes Carlisle in the 1960s in Australia. So I dove into all that work and started talking to Forbes about it. He said, look, don't, here are the things that you need to read. Read bulletin number 50, read bulletin 49, read these, di dive into these. So I did. And I was like, this is kind of what I was doing before. And it's not by me, but I was kind of doing it. So we're gonna go and do what I know of right now. This is before I bought the videos or anything else. And so we started doing it. And the first time I gave it, introduced it to the guys, they thought it was easy. Are you serious? You want us to do 2025s on our race pace? After 10, they're like, coach, this is really hard. <laughs> and um, well, same results. We were going faster every single meet. Uh, we went to the state meet. Um, eight guys, three of them had never, two divers had never dove in a state meet before. One swimmer had never been in a state meet before. 
the one sophomore when the swimmer started out 27 in the 50 freestyle, 50 meter freestyle, uh, short course. Uh, state meet, he ended up going 22, um, 22-0. We had uh, one of my swimmers, I started as a sophomore, as 52 in the 100 free, ended up going 44 in the 100 free. There were 12 state records set that, that state meet. Six, five of them were broken by one of my swimmers. He broke the 50 free record every time he swam it and then he broke the 100 free record. Uh, lifetime best for all the kids. We ended up winning the state meet by one point um, with eight guys. And it, it, was, it was amazing. And, and they hit every single pace that we did in practice. They maintained it, they didn't die. And even the commentators, like, I don't know if they can, if Fork Union can hold on. They had guys coming out of the breaststroke, you know, a breaststroke, two of my guys would swim the breaststroke. They had seven minutes rest before they had to go to the, the 400 free relay. And they held exact splits. This is something that they were, we had conditions from day one, and they knew exactly how, they didn't worry. And the, and, and the commentator was like, I don't know if they can hold them off. And we ended up winning by 12 and a half yards. I mean, it wasn't even a contest. <laughs> and, you know, we won by one point, and, and I sat back, and then I started getting more into the research um, and more into reading and going, this is exactly what I've been looking for. It's substantiated by research. You, you, to sit there and, and to refute it when you have Russell's work, which is volumes, it's a volume in itself of all the research work. And I've seen the results, and it works. My guys are fresh. I can work starts, turns, and finishes at the race pace. Um, there's a progression. It's, it's a whole laid out program, and I'm getting phenomenal results from it. So uh, I have nothing but, you know, I'm, again, I'm a rookie getting into it. But so far, I've had nothing but great results.